And I begin by acknowledging that we stand and we meet today on land under Aboriginal custodianship. This is land from which the Gadigal people were violently dispossessed by people from my country, Britain. The British inspired violence that dispossessed the Gadigal still runs very deep in contemporary Australia. One only has to listen to our new Defence Minister Richard Mars, following in the footsteps with the previous Minister Peter Dutton, who Dutton affirmed that if America goes to war with China, then Australia would inevitably follow. Now, to my mind, this makes Australia a war-obsessed nation. The leaders we have had over the past 60 years have taken us into one futile war after another. We need leaders who will promote peace. Now, I commend you for coming out today. Because by doing so, commemorating the violence of nuclear weapons that were first witnessed 77 years ago, by coming out simply standing here, you are making a statement for peace. And there is nothing more important than doing that at this point in time. Those who call for peace, that's you, are the most important people I know. So thank you. We are here because we abhor the violence represented by war in general and nuclear weapons in particular. We're here because we need, want and value peace. We are here to tell our leaders, bring us peace! Bring us peace! However, it is clear that Australia like a bull with a ring in its nose, is being led down a path that has war with China as its destination. It is being led by the nose by the USA. The prospect of war between the USA and China is now very real, as many prominent, prominent academics like Hugh White have, are now telling us. Already, we must prepare to mobilize in strong opposition to this. Now, there is one very real threat to our security. It is not China. It is not a military threat of any sort. I'm talking here, of course, about the climate crisis, of which we've only just begun to feel the very first small ripples. The climate crisis is going to be huge. It demands our attention. But instead, as a nation, we are distracted and our resources are diverted into the senseless and destructive business, and it is a business of preparing for war. With a climate crisis looming, it makes no sense at all for Australia to be increasing defence expenditure and procuring nuclear-powered submarines. The Australian people rejected any nuclear industry long ago, understanding the connection between it and the proliferation of nuclear weaponry. But rather than taking the lead as it should, in promoting peace and doing what it can to reduce nuclear proliferation, Australia is now rushing 180 degrees in the wrong direction, rushing to join the nuclear club. So of course, as others have said before me, Australia should and must sign the treaty to prohibit nuclear weapons. And and more immediately, to my mind, Australia should abandon its aspirations to acquire nuclear submarines under the awful, 
AUKUS agreement, an agreement that draws us closer to military confrontation with China. I'll just quote Bruce Hay, who wrote, AUKUS is nothing more than a US takeover of Northern Australia as an operational base against China. Australia has rolled over and the new Minister for Defence, Richard Miles, has gone so far as to offer full integration of the Australian Defence Force into US force structures. End of quote. So far, Australia has not quite committed to joining the USA in any war between it and China. Not quite. Not quite committed. So we, in the, the Anti-AUKUS Coalition and IPAN, the Independent and Peaceful Australian Network, are asking the new government to commit, to commit itself to not joining this avoidable war. And we're planning an advertisement to run in a national paper and the details of how to support their initiative are on a flyer that I'll distribute as soon as I finish speaking. We who are crying bring us peace must pour energy into the campaign to put a stop to AUKUS. I urge you to join this campaign. Find and sign the change.org petition <coughs> which has already got more than 25,000 signatures. Get informed about August and join the demonstrations that will be taking place across the nation on the first anniversary of this appalling war-oriented development. In Sydney, that will be right here at five o'clock in the evening of Friday the 16th of September. I urge you to join the demonstrations and get familiar with the anti orcus Coalition. It is time for us, for we the people, to stand up and tell our government, bring us peace and stop AUKUS!